There are three different ways you can indent your paragraphs by using the paragraph markers. First of all, let me go ahead and click within a paragraph so I can demonstrate this to you. Well, is this a paragraph? Again, the way to find out is to come up here on the Home tab to the Paragraph group, click on the Show Hide Codes, and as we discussed in earlier training videos, when you see your paragraph markers, everything to the left of it and above it till it hits the next paragraph marker is a paragraph. So I've got my cursor flashing within this paragraph. Let me go ahead and turn off the codes. And if I want to indent the first line in the paragraph, come up here on the uh, horizontal ruler. And if you don't see it, then you want to turn it on. You can come over here and click on the uh, ruler button there. Click on it. It'll display the ruler. And you've got these three paragraph markers. You have what looks like a triangle pointing down. Below that, you have a triangle pointing up. And you can hover over it, and it tells you what kind of indent it is. And then you have a little square there. Okay, So you have the top one, which is a first line indent. Next one, hanging indent. And then the last one, a left indent. First of all, the first line indent, when you click and drag that over, to about right there, it moves the first line, indents it as far over as you drag that paragraph marker there up in the horizontal ruler. And then if you want to go ahead and apply that same indent to all the other paragraphs, instead of clicking in the next one and then clicking and dragging that top paragraph marker over, just go ahead and click within that paragraph, click on the format paintbrush as we learned in an earlier training video, and then come down here and click within that paragraph and it copies the formatting applied to this paragraph here and applies it to the next one. So if you want to keep doing that without having to click and then click and then come up here, click it to select it and click in the next paragraph, just double click really fast. And then you can keep clicking and clicking and clicking. You see how my paintbrush is still up. You can keep clicking and format all the rest of the paragraphs within your document without having to go back and reselect that uh, paintbrush. Let me go ahead and hit the escape key on the keyboard and it takes me out of that. And then the other paragraph markers, let me go back and click in the first paragraph. And if I want it back to the way it was, then come up here and click and drag that uh, paragraph marker all the way back so it's aligned perfectly with those other two down below. And then you can go ahead and click on the hanging indent. It's that second triangle pointing up. And I know it's really tiny, but if you can't do it freehand by clicking and dragging those little tiny uh, markers, I'll show you how you can do it numerically in just a second. But let's go ahead and click and drag this one over. So what it does is it leaves the first line hanging and indents everything below that as far out as you want to drag that, okay? Let me go ahead and hit the undo key. The shortcut key for that hanging indent is control T, control T, control T, and I'll keep doing it, okay? Undo, undo, undo. And then the, finally the last one, this one at the bottom here, is the left indent. That indents the entire paragraph. So click and drag that little uh, rectangle over and indents everything undo it, or you can come over here in the paragraph group, come up here and click on the increase indent, and it'll do the same thing as if you were just clicking that uh, last paragraph indent marker over. Let me go ahead and hit undo. Also, you have one over to the far right, which will do a right indent. Just click and drag that over and indents everything to the right-hand side, so you can go ahead and do a left indent, a right indent, and you know, it looks pretty cool like that, I suppose, if you need to apply that anywhere within your document both left and right indents. Let me hit undo a couple of times. And then if you want to do it numerically without having to click and drag these tiny little uh, markers here, then on the Home tab to the Paragraph group, click on its expandable dialog box button. There's the indentation section. Come over here and change it from special to first line. And you can see down the preview window how it indents everything over by about a half inch. You can go ahead and increase that. You can see it expands it over there. Or you can do a hanging indent. And then the first line is hanging, everything else gets indented, click okie dokie, and it pushes everything over. And of course, you can either come back up here and expand the paragraph and change it back to none, or you can come over here and click and drag, if you can get those uh, little paragraph markers, all the way back so they're aligned perfectly, so there's no indentation whatsoever. And then if you select none, and you go ahead and you do a left indent, you can see down below, it does a complete indent for all the lines within that paragraph. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel come up here and click on that bottom left indent marker and drag it. And notice when I drag it, if I'm not dragging the right one, it moves everything. It moves this over, but it moves the first line out as well. So let me hit undo and make sure I grab the top one, the hanging indent, so it drags the text over and aligns it with the first line so nothing's hanging. Well, not the first line, that is. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.